Leo in five words would be... Stoic killer, but chill guy. Uh, reserved, disciplined. Uh, picky. Really good at Valorant, doesn't fit, but... He is the epitome of he wins these, you know, like 1v3, 1v2, like you're never worried. Muscly, uh, suave, and MVP. Uh, hey, I'm uh, Leo, Leo Janneson. Uh, I go by uh, Leo in game. So I play the initiator role for the team, uh, which basically is like uh, information utility and uh, kind of like a support. Football was basically my whole childhood. Started from five, six years old and played for 10 years. Uh, competing at tournaments at a very early age, you learn how to perform at your highest level. And then I just brought that with me into Valorant. As the years went on, it kind of became less and less and I started just spending more time uh, playing uh, video games rather than what I usually did. Dropped out of school like instant and then when I mean, there was no like talks about it with uh, my parents or anything, they were on board with so I need to go full time and can't really spend, spend that many hours in school. Uh, no, my family's always been uh, supportive to what I've been doing. Starting in Guild uh, or Bonk, uh, with the Swedish boys. They had played for the game for like two months and I'm coming in, I played like a week, one day or something. Bonka was the leader of the team. He taught me a lot also, Yasin. I think they really helped me get comfortable because uh, I was behind. Uh, so now they really put me in a good, good position for my future. I think when, it, when Guild started becoming good, well, it was kind of obvious quite quickly that he was like one of the standout players. Um, there was obviously some debate between some of the players at that time, very early on. But I think that Leo kind of shined through throughout that first kind of year as kind of the best player on the team. Guild, you know, when they came into the scene, they signed that first group of Swedes on quite big contracts and they were quite long. So we kind of knew that it was always going to be difficult to get him out of that deal. I mean, we never reached our full potential, I think. We were always like behind the top, top teams. I think it might have been we became uh, maybe a bit too close with each other, like playing as friends rather than uh, as uh, teammates, which might have hindered our success. When I think about Leo, I wouldn't actually call them memories, I'd call them nightmares. Whenever we had to play against him, he was in like breach or... Like it was always annoying playing against him because he was so blooming good. What I saw in Leo was it, it, just simply the fact that he was able to create impact from a role that wasn't the impact role. But you could tell that utility-wise, he was very smooth, he was very like natural and he kind of understood things. As well at the same time, being able to blend that with flag fragging at the same time. The kill on the cloud, Leo is gonna get it one way or another! What is that shot? No, this man has been known for clutches, but this would be absurd. He isolates the duel onto Dino as well. This has gone from a 1v5 to a 1 versus 1 for Leo. He doesn't know where the last man is. The thing is, with the plant in play, there's so many angles still to check, but it seems to be watching the right one, although he's looked away at the moment. He snaps back and clutches it. Leo winning, deserve it. We've always had uh, our eye on him, and I think that, uh, you know, you'd be stupid to not want him on your team. Like, he's a dream, you know, like, player that every single team in, in the league would want, and probably in the world at this point would want. I mean, he was the MVP of lock-in, right, so. Yeah, the first call I think was with Colin and Mini. I was looking to join a, like an existing core with, uh, you know, Coach Ideal that's been working for, for some time together. Like, I didn't want to join a like, newly formed team because I think problems might occur later. Like, somehow a rumor came out in the first week of the offseason, super early on, that we were talking to Leo and Chronicle. And then months passed because it took a really long time to especially get the Leo deal done and to figure out if Chronicle was going to be possible with all the Russia stuff going on. And so by the time we announced, everyone was like, well, we've only heard of one rumor about Fnatic and it's that you're signing Leo and Chronicle. Our fearless leader decided to, uh, in one of his uh, pictures where he's showing off his ass in front of the, uh, in front of the pyramids, you had Leo in the background. So, I mean, it, we asked them to delete it, but it almost just made it more funny and like 
a better reveal, I guess, of Leo. When I was talking with Kojo and Mini, the biggest attraction when it came to Leo was uh, how good he was. Having a player that good on that role would just be such a kind of like upgrade or such a difference in our team. And it could be the difference we need to win a trophy. Uh, in terms of his work ethic and stuff, he doesn't come across that he has an ego. He looks like all he likes to do is just play the game and it's just like a player that I'd want, you know, he's smart, uh, he doesn't talk his talk, he just focuses on the game, gets the job done and we go again kind of vibes. He's just got something that some other players don't, like he's able to kind of, it's like almost like an empathy, you need to think about how are your teammates wanting things and how is the enemy going to react and he's like extremely good at thinking about both those things. Things you often characterise with an IGL to be quite honest, but being able to do that and having his fragging, it's like incredible. So I don't off the server, I don't see him sitting there all day, every day, practicing timings or anything, but he is thinking about those things deeply. So I don't mind if he is or isn't. Um, if you don't need to do it, you don't need to do it. The beam down from Sassy, and it's all down to Leo. What a miracle play, what a miracle performance, but Leo, he might just end it. Left down to the 1v1 second, he has to kill him and he won't do so it. I like to just play on, uh... Yeah, my instincts, what I feel like where the enemy is going to be rather than having the best possible lineup. I think it's about uh, thinking a lot when I play, understanding why things are happening when you're playing bad and don't make any excuses. Always trying to improve and learn, feel more confident day by day and then uh, just keep, keep it going. I do remember seeing him in real life and he, he came across as quite shy, like he didn't talk much. Um, but it's safe to say we're slowly bringing him out the shell. Yeah, he's at the MVP of lock-in. Mate, you're talking too much. You win one MVP and you think you're all that. Like, there's just like harmless banter from like my days of playing football and stuff, you know. It's that sort of banter that uh, works quite well on him. He's a giga Chad. <laughs> I think me and Alf have a great bond. He, I mean, I think he also played team sports, so maybe a bit from the same culture in a way. We get along very well, like on the server and off the server. Uh, he's a bit lazy, you know, he, he's always talking, oh, I'm coming to the gym, coming to the gym. Oh, yeah, I saw him some days in, uh, in Brazil. I mean, I got COVID, so I don't know if he was going or not. But uh, yeah, hopefully here in uh, Berlin, he's, he's going to come with me in the morning. I think winning is just what motivates him. Like, he just wants to win, play Valorant. Um, there's an interesting question, because I don't think, I think it's winning. Like, just winning. The fame and glory can't really be part of it because he's not trying to do that, you know what I mean? He's not on social media chatting shit or snaking people or doing random stuff, so I think he's just winning. He genuinely thought that Fnatic was the place where he was gonna win trophies, and that feels like what he's motivated by. I wanna win, that's, that's the ultimate goal, I think, from everyone. But uh, yeah, he's being consistent over the years and not really uh, hitting a high peak and then falling down, it's, uh, Keeping a long career and uh, hopefully getting a lot of trophies.